Hey, it's Anna McHugh out looking at mushrooms. And I uh, have a lovely specimen of Reddy Boletus ornatipes. Uh, this is known as the ornate stemmed bolete. A really lovely mushroom overall. Uh, quick taxonomic note, even though uh, most people would call this Reddy Boletus ornatipes, in all likelihood, it is a related Southern species and the real Reddy Boletus ornatipes lives up North in Yankee land. But in North Carolina, we also have a mushroom that looks uh, astonishingly similar. And for all intents and purposes, that's what we can call it for now. Um, it is very distinct in a couple of different ways. So I'll show you how to identify it. Uh, first of all, it is a bolete type mushroom. So instead of having, uh, you know, gills or something along those lines, you have a, a porous layer. So it usually uh, peels off relatively easily. It looks like a whale's baleen a little bit. So you have these, uh, you know, little tubes, which is where the mushroom spores come from. So you have a whole mess of boletes. A lot of them are very difficult to identify. Some of them stain a whole lot. It's this uh, whole mess of, uh, you know, uh, confusion and, and love that comes along with studying boletes. Uh, but Reddy Boletus ornatipes' most distinctive feature is what's called reticulation. And uh, so it's basically sort of a um, overlay of tissue that is slightly, in this case, differently colored than uh, the yellow stem. And uh, so reticulation, again, it's sort of this webby appearance. You see that feature with a lot of boletes, but in the case of Reddy Boletus ornatipes, it goes almost all the way down the stem. And that is a very, very distinctive thing that you just don't see, uh, even in species that have like really bold reticulation. So, um, you know, that is the real distinct distinctive thing about them. But other than that, they're, uh, you know, really yellowy mushroom through and through. They do not stain. Uh, in the case of this, like whatever it is, uh, southern species, or maybe it's the real thing, it does have this sort of yellowish staining that I get on my hands. And that's not mentioned in a lot of the literature about this species. So um, at any rate, you know, you get this sort of sticky yellow staining, um, oftentimes, not every time. And, uh, you know, the, the flesh all the way through is this sort of lovely uh, yellow color, does not do anything when you cut or bruise it. Uh, again, this is an edible mushroom. I don't eat it because it's pretty mediocre. Um, and, you know, typically there's a lot uh, of other options available. But, you know, if you're preparing for the apocalypse, these are very large mushrooms. They're mycorrhizal, so they come back in the same place year by year. So as far as how to find them, um, their, you know, associates are hardwood trees, uh, oak trees, but I almost always find them, in fact, with beech. And so we're in a little beech grove. There aren't any oak trees nearby uh, that, oh, there's one actually right in my background. Uh, but nonetheless, we're right uh, underneath a whole bunch of uh, beech trees. So that is uh, usually what I find these growing in association with. And uh, oftentimes, you know, when they're little, they uh, are a little bit lighter in color. They almost look like fun little chess pieces with these ornate stems. So they're very cute. And uh, as they mature, they become quite stately, especially with this really bold reticulation. They're just a really cool looking species. So that's it for now. Reddy Boletus ornatipes. In five years, it'll probably be called something different. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to continue with my mushroom hunt and leave this one for the squirrels or whoever it is who wants to eat it.